Hey y'all. Good morning. It's Wednesday. <laughs> and um <laughs> I was going to do a nice video for y'all. Um I've oh, squirrels running around in my head. <laughs> and um I thought, well, I would like to um do it when when I'm kind of ready, better ready, and when my my tiny is a little straighter, and I thought if I keep putting this off, <laughs> it may take me days. So I thought I would just jump on real quick to say some stuff. Um, and there's so much, and I have a I have a really hard time focusing, and. Uh, I'm trying because there's there's just so much. And, uh, and where have I been? I realized I went out last Thursday after I, I made the video being in a panic, I guess. Uh, all the squirrels running around in my head. And then I went to Ajo and did my stuff, came home Thursday, and I didn't go out again until yesterday. And when I did, I went to all my usual stores and uh, the ones I frequent. You know, the market where it's got the little dented cans and stuff. And then and then I go to the Family Dollar Store for some stuff that I use. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like my little mini Walmart. And then I went to the grocery store. And then on my big adventure yesterday, I went to the uh, original hardware store in Ajo. And, of course, you know, it doesn't look like it did originally, but... <gasps> Oh my goodness, I love a good hardware store. I was like, oh my gosh, of all the stores that I am tempted to spend a tremendous amount of time in, it's the hardware store. There's so many things to look at and go, oh, I could use that to make something else. <laughs> I love a good hardware store. But anyway, I, okay, go back. I, I asked permission, well, not permission, but just what that kind of what their rules were and about bringing Buddy in, Mr. Buddy Bruce. Oh, that's why. That's why he's excited. He hears me <laughs> saying his name. Um, yes, everybody approved. It was okay. It's like, uh, you know, I got different answers from everybody. Uh, the first one was like, sure, bring them in. Well, we even bring it. We even got treats under the counter. <laughs> And um, so, anyway, it went well. And Squirrels, focus. So, I got home and I got mail. And I have to share that with y'all. And uh, it, was, it was really cool because I got two care packages. That's what I've learned to call them. Back in the 80s, my sister, my little sister, my baby sister, she moved down to Florida. She's in Pensacola. And... Yeah, early 80s, and um, and she used to send me, that's what we called them, were care packages, and we would send them back and forth because we missed each other, and we were both, uh, our first babies were born, my, my oldest, Sarah, was born May of 81, and then she had hers in October. So it was it was a fun time, and that's how we communicated. So when I open up a box and it's full of these, amazing thoughtful gifts it's like y'all y'all love me so good thank you um because 30 gee almost 40 years later um i don't i don't talk to my little sister as much anymore so <laughs> sorry hmm. um which brings me to Friday night live stream, and I did want to say that, and um, with the bombing and stuff, and of course, I got scared, and I was crying, and the reason being, um, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm okay with that. I want to go home. Either way, it's good. Rapture or death. I'm good with that. What is scary for me is to be so far away and out in the middle of nowhere, and not be able to communicate, and not know what's going on. 
And I just feel like that's, um, that's, that's what we're at greatest risk of, is losing communication. And so anyway, um, that. So, <laughs> otherwise, I feel very, um, I'm so blessed. And, and, and Abba, he has even sent me, um, <laughs> he sent me a hovery down to the desert who's camped right down from me. How awesome is that? I'm not even, even if I lose communication, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I, I wouldn't have been alone without him, but it's nice knowing that he's down the way a bit. Close enough in the desert, if I yelled real loud, he could probably hear me. Maybe, maybe not. Last night we got bombed with a, the sonic boom, and that was his first experience. <laughs> <laughs> He's heard them before, but not like this, because it literally, when it happens, it, it's like you almost can feel the pressure of it, because it's like, comes down on the roof, everything in the trailer rattles, and poor little buddy, he was terrified, and he shook for a while, uh, and I think it, it kind of terrified Bob, too. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I was like, he was like, what was that? I was like, well, it happens kind of frequent. And, of course, I nearly fell out of my chair because I haven't heard it in a while. And it was, it was like 9 o'clock last night when it happened. And and the thing is, you don't hear, you don't hear airplanes. You don't, you don't hear anything. All of a sudden, it... Squirrel video... There it is. Um, I'm okay. I'm alive in the desert. There's so much going on. My brain's just all... And I'm trying to focus. And may or may not see this. I love y'all. a message of encouragement. A mighty wind blew night and day. It stole the oak tree's leaves away, then snapped its boughs and pulled its bark until the oak was tired and stark. But still the oak tree held its ground while other trees fell all around. The weary wind gave up and spoke, How can you still be standing, oak? The oak tree said, I know that you can break each branch of mine in two, carry every leaf away, shake my limbs and make me sway. But I have roots stretched in the earth, growing stronger since my birth. You'll never touch them, for you see. They are the deepest part of me. Until today, I wasn't sure of just how much I could endure. But now I've found, with thanks to you, I'm stronger than I ever knew. Especially now, try to remember that you're stronger than any problem you encounter. 
or any disappointment life will bring. Thinking of you, believing in you, caring for you, 